Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be covering the Korea meta build for the Sharpshooter class, aka Hawkeye. Not to be confused with this guy over here, even though they look the same, the class kit plays the same. So, okay, yeah, so maybe this is Hawkeye, just a Lost Ark version of that. We're going to be covering everything you need to know about the Sharpshooter class, the combos, the tripod setup, the skill distribution, everything you need to know. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Okay guys, so welcome back. So when it comes to like the whole identity of Hawkeye, uh, to be honest with you guys, I, I don't really know what this class is, which is probably why it's not too viable in the meta. Um, It kind of does everything, but it doesn't do anything the best. I would label it personally as like a pseudo support slash DPS because your DPS isn't exactly crazy. Your killing capabilities isn't exactly crazy. Your defensive abilities aren't exactly crazy. You just kind of do a little bit of everything, but it seems like every other class does everything that you do just better. Like, like it's, I would not give this class a benefit of the doubt. I noticed a lot of time in my arenas, that I noticed a lot of people just kind of standing around on the sharpshooter class. I'm like, you know, what are you doing to contribute to the fight? Give these guys the benefit of the doubt because surprisingly, if they're standing still, that's, that's kind of what they're doing. You're going to be spending a lot of time standing still in this class. Your positioning is very, very important. Your combo setups are very, very important. You have to play this class perfectly. That's why if you guys saw my tier list that I made, that I kind of ranked this at the bottom, because when it comes to a new class, to pick it up and play and be viable and be productive at it, this is one of those niche classes where you have to put in the time and practice because your combos, your timing have to be on point to make this class very, very viable. So. With all that out of the way, hopefully it hasn't discouraged you from what we'll be covering today. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to go over the stat tuning. I always max out swiftness because this is your cooldown reduction and also your movement speed. And next we're going to go into domination because this can give you more damage done to knocked up or CC'd opponents. And then you always want one value point in crit just to give you that 0 0.0039 whatever percent chance it is to increase your crit strike. Okay, so when it comes to the skill and tripod setup, I'm going to leave everything up here on the screen. Now, I'm not using the little pictographs, right? I want to have all the information available for you guys so you can reference a couple points in the video to know what the spells do and also what the tripods do thereof instead of having to go back and looking at a picture I'm like okay this picture looks like this but what exactly does it do then you have to kind of find out for yourself so in the next two screens that we have here i want to have everything up here just so it's legible y'all can screenshot it and do whatever okay so the very first ability which is very very important that you need to land on not just one but as many opponents as you can is claymore mine so we're going with swift fingers for this one just for the increased attack speed go with thunderbolt for this because this will apply the concussed effect this is 1.5 second sun in pvp and then we're also going storm surge because this makes the ability a cone effect allowing you to hit more targets more easily okay next is moving slash you can use this both offensively and defensively so we're going with excellent mobility which increases your move distance repulse which increases your aoe hit radius and then we're also going with survival which actually gives you some status effect immunity plus a dodge rate okay so next is blade storm we're taking a range shift for this one also a poison blade to apply some damage over time effects and then we're also going with shadow dance because this increases the overall dps of this you don't want to go with blade dance because this lengthens the time of this ability and it's really hard for you to get off your full combo if you go with this more. Okay, next is charge shot. So for the tripods for this one, we're going camouflage. Yes, it does add a very lengthy cooldown onto the ability, but your stealth while using it. So it's really difficult to figure out where you're at a lot of times because you do have a lot of invisibility skills, which there's a, another one we'll cover here in just a second. Also going a double shot and then the last one is fast fire. Okay, next is your invisibility. Essentially, it's called salvo. You're going to be spamming this before you even go in for your combos. Um, we're going with quick pace on this one, um, arrow blanket, and as well as stealthy movement. This is how you become stealth. So this allows you to get in the proper position you need to set up your combos. Um, next is a defensive skill. We're going with evasive fire. You want swift fingers for this one, tenacity, which is going to give you a push immunity and also critical blow. And this spell essentially just pushes you back away from your opponent and also knocks them down. Okay, so our next ability is Atomic Arrow. We're only leveling this one up to level four. You want to slot Swift Fingers for this one, and this is essentially used to set up our full combo and makes it much, much easier to land with a delayed explosion. The okay, last but certainly not least on our bar here is Snipe. So you want to go with Inside for this one. Go with Perfection to increase the perfect zone damage. I'll show you guys what that is if you're unfamiliar here in just a moment. And then also go with Easy Prey because this is going to increase your critical damage 
as well. So what this means is you need to hold down this ability long enough. You see this gold area right here in order to get the most bang for your buck out of the ability. Okay, so when it comes to our Z ability, the Hawkeye, you actually have two different abilities you can use. You can use one called Wings of Storm, which essentially causes your dude to swoop in, do a little bit of AoE damage over time. Therefore, when you do that, because it does start the meter down here, if I had everything adjusted correctly, so it will start depleting. You can cast this pretty much off cooldown, but the X is where the burst damage comes in. Uh, this this little Falcon guy also attacks people. It's really cute and cool. You know, I, I forget what the, the Falcon's name is from Lord of the Rings, but uh, what, whatever his name is, we're calling it. We're, we're calling him Frank. We'll call him Frank for now. But uh, the X actually consumes all this energy and it flies in and does a lot of damage. We will be including this in our full burst combo in just a moment. Okay, last we have our awakening abilities. So you have Finura's message and then you also access to Golden Eye. I prefer to go with Golden Eye on this one because it's going to do a lot more damage and plus it's going to give you a CC plus it stealths you up afterwards. Um, and again, I'm gonna go over the combos here in just a second how you're going to evolve this into your ultimately a death combo. It's pretty crazy. All right, so we managed the combo section. Before we even begin any of the combos, I want you guys right now, before you go to PvP, you hit escape, you go to your settings. If you are in arenas and you are not forcing your aspect ratio, you need to uninstall this game. You will be at such a disadvantage. This is non-negotiable of anything we're going to or have discussed in this video, right? You can choose whatever skills you want, whatever tripod system you want, whatever skill point allocations you want, but this is non-negotiable. You need to swap this to aspect ratio because everyone else is doing the same and vision advantage is huge in PvP. So one kind of niche technique you have with this class is your opener. So as soon as you're starting the arena, if you dash out into your W, into your charge shot, you can actually hit people across the map before they're even ready. This is going to give you a little bit of an advantage when it comes to your engagement and any advantage is good advantage. Okay, so when it comes to the combos, there's two main ones I want to go over. One is kind of two thirds of the full combo because quite frankly, you're not always going to be able to get all of your abilities off, but you will be able to get some of the combo off. So the very basic one is you want to pop your salvo just so you go invis, okay? So while you're invis, you can get in the proper position to line up your combo. So what you want to do, you can line off, excuse me, you can start off with Claymore Mines because this will TC whoever is in a cone in front of you. You don't necessarily have to start up with this ability. Um, there's all kinds of combos, right? I mean, there, there's probably like 30, 40 different combos depending on the situation. But typically, I like to start off with my salvo. So I'm invis, and then I'll play mines. I'll do the dash, E, into a charge shot. You can hold this down. Now, this is kind of like your basic combo, right? But it does evolve. It does get even better. Okay, so the next combo I'm going to show you is like the wombo combo. This isn't necessarily a one-shot combo, even though it potentially can because you do get crit multipliers from when people are below 30% health and also knocked up in the air. So... I will go ahead and kind of spell out for you. I have up on the screen the combo itself. You'll want to be invis with salvo. You'll want to Q, W, E, R, D, F. As F is landing, you want to cast your Hawk, which is going to be your X. And then if you have your Awakened ability up, you want to dodge roll forward and then pop your V. Is going to be the full combo. So here's that in practice. Hopefully I don't mess it up during a live presentation. So you're going to Q, right? Into your W, boom, R, into your D, hold down your charge shot, get ready for him to get knocked up, boom, F, dodge forward, V, and it picks him back up in, carries him off. Does a metric crap load of damage. I've done a few simulations, and even with a 6.45% crit rate you saw here from a previous iteration of this, I'm doing 140,000 damage, so it's uh, it's pretty incredible. And I kind of forgot to mention, during the tail end of that, you are invis, so if you feel the need to use that evasion fire after that to kind of push you out of the situation, that you can definitely do that too, just kind of toss that in as like a filler. And this is not limited to, to anything. You, there's all kinds of different combos you can toss on this build, this class in general. This is just the basic ones I want to show you guys and kind of what this class has to offer the potential when it comes to damage. Okay, so I think that about does it for the video, guys. If I left out anything or something could be made clear or you have any critiques on the video how I can do better in the future, please let me know down in the comments. Please, I want to do better. And before I go, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep this channel afloat. I appreciate each and every single one of you. So if you want to join, the details to all that is down in the description. I would really appreciate it. They help me and the channel. Help my dog, my Maltese. She loves some bones. So if you want to help support her bone addiction, yep, there you go. It's a good way. With all that being said, guys, thank you for watching today's video. This has been Horcrux, and have a great rest of your evening. Peace.